first time I ever watched wrestling was when I was eight years old. My dad took me to Whitehaven Civic Hall. And I knew I liked it then, but I didn't watch a lot of it for a lot of years. And then I seen it on Sky when I was 11 year old, the WWF. I was mesmerized since then. And I watched it and I became obsessive really. And I collected tapes from all around the world. I read every magazine you could read. My bedroom was full of posters, a lot. And I seen an advert in a magazine when I was uh, 17 year old. And I went from Cumbria down to Kent on a bus. It took 13 hours <laughs> and through the night. And I trained for a full week solid. I went back on the bus and I went back to work. And I just fell in love with it, I loved it. And I was doing that nearly like one week, one weekend a month, I would finish work on a Friday, get on two coaches through the night, trains, tubes, a lot, to Kent, wrestle all day Saturday, all day Sunday, then back up, and just took off from there. For me, I like the physicality of it, you see. I like the physicality and the, and the drama of it, and plus the skill as well. There's a lot of things to like about it. I think all of us um, like it for different reasons. I don't think many people are really doing it for the money. I think a lot of people are doing it for the love of wrestling. And right now, especially wrestle over in front of the fans, like these fans here, the walk culture, these are some of the best fans. They're fantastic. It's a, such a buzz, like an adrenaline buzz. It's fantastic. I mean, I do like the wrestlers for, most, for promotions like what culture, where the fans are a little bit more educated. It's great. Um, but I also like wrestling the little town shows that are aimed towards um, to families, you know, the kids and the, the, the mums and dads. I, I wouldn't say it's, it's pantomime, but it's a little bit different to what you might see tonight, you know. Sure. It's a bit more boo and a bit more cheering, you know, it's uh, more traditional pro wrestling. So I like both, I like all, I like it all, mate. Sometimes the travel can be a bit of a pain in the backside. You know, I've had some real bad trips. It is hard work, especially if you're hurt and you're in pain. It's, to be honest, when you're hurt, the wrestling's not so bad. You, you can get through it mentally. It's when you're traveling everywhere and you're limping about, you're carrying your bags. Especially if you're going through airports and stuff and you're getting frustrated and you're just like, I can't take any more of this. And we get to the show, as many times I've thought, I am absolutely fed up with this. And after the match, I'm like, wow, this is great. See, I'm venturing into the other side of it now and I have for a few years, he's been a coach. Um, I've got my own gym in Cumbria and I coach people there all the time. I've had people travel to me from America, Australia, all over Europe to come and train. I went to work with WWE for a couple of weeks as a coach over there. So I'd like to go into that eventually in a few years. So my body can't take any more. <laughs> I'd say I've got about five years left. At the minute, this country is the place to be. It's, it's all happening. I mean, the WWE wants to come and take over. You know, they're going berserk. You've got promotions like What Culture, you've got ICW Progress, and all your little town shows. Their attendance will boost as well. See, we used to want to go to America to wrestle, but now the Americans want to come here.